Manchester City have just beaten Wolverhampton Wanderers by four goals to one. And, I mean, it wasn't as straightforward for Man City as the scoreline or the possession stats would suggest. Um, they, they were one nil up for the probably half of the game, um, most the first half and a bit of the second half, before Conor Cody equalised for Wolves. And uh, then they just got three goals in the last 15 minutes and that won the game for them. Uh, the first goal was a, a brilliant ball by, I think it was Rodri, over to Riyad Mahrez. Mahrez crossed it. Uh, Sterling was waiting to tap it in. Uh, Den Donker tried to clear it. He had to get a touch on it to stop it from going to Sterling, but unfortunately he put it, he put it in his own net. Uh, the equaliser for Wolves, Conor Cody's header. Uh, I, I don't think it was a free kick for the goal. Um, Matinho just went down under virtually no contact. Uh, but it was a great cross by Matinho for the goal. And Cody, uh, brilliant diving header. Um, that's his first goal in 103 Premier League games, which is a bit ridiculous really, isn't it? When you think about it. Um, and yeah, Wolves uh, got definitely got into the game more in the second half. In the first half, they didn't even have a single touch in the opposition's penalty area, which I mean, there's negative, isn't there? And then there's that. <laughs> uh, but uh, in in the end, City just City's relentless pressure just eventually got them the goals they needed to win the game. Um, the first for Gabriel Jesus, his first, um, it was, uh, how, how did, what was the first goal like? I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> Kyle Walker uh, was uh, going down the right hand side like he normally does and he crossed it in, it went through everybody. Uh, but it came off Den Donker's knee, fell to Gabriel Jesus and he's just whacked it in. I felt Den Donker, who was on the line, he was the only player who could have blocked it. It, it actually uh, came off his arm. I felt he needed to do more to block it, really. Uh, because he once it's come towards him, he sort of turned his back away. He, what a good centre-back would do, like what a Vidic would do, or a John Terry... Is just literally just throw themselves at it and like not be scared of it hitting him bang in the face. And he he wasn't fearless enough to do that really. Um, and it cost Wolves. Uh, so that made it 2-1 to City. And the third goal from uh, Riyad, Riyad Mahrez, um, it, it was just... So uh, Wolves brought on a sub, I've forgotten what his name is, it was Otisui or something like that, I'm sorry if I've but butchered the name there, uh, but um, the, the ball was passed to him on the edge of his own penalty area, he's got two Man City players in front of him, now you, you either, if he goes to the left he's turning himself into trouble because he's got nowhere to go, if he goes to the right he can easily just clear it get it out of danger, get relieve the pressure, and it might even fall for someone like Adama Traore or Nelson Semedo. Um, and he decides to turn into danger, gets dispossessed, and ultimately costs his team a goal. It falls to Riyad Mahrez, and it was a really good finish by Mahrez. He opened his body up and just placed it into the bottom left corner. And... Then the fourth goal, uh, deep into added time, Gabriel Jesus' is second of the game, um, was a shot by Ilkay Gundogan coming off the bench. Um, Rui, Pat Rui Patricio did fairly well to save it, uh, but his defence weren't there when he needed them, and it just uh, uh, Gabriel Jesus was the quickest to it and got the rebound. Uh, so that that made it four one, and. At half time, I thought that I would feel really annoyed if if I was a Wolves fan, because the what what Wolves were clearly going for was um, just keep it solid at the back and try and get something out of Pedro Neto, Nelson Tomato, or Adama Traore's pace. 
Now, obviously, we know that Triore doesn't contribute a lot in terms of goals and assists. In fact, he hasn't even got one of either this season, although he was unlucky with the uh, Elan Melier uh, own goal uh, in the Leeds game versus Wolves. It, it was a brilliant strike by him. But um, the Wolves just didn't go for it at all in, until Conor Cody had scores. And then they started going for it for some reason. They They started going for it after... Wolves after they had scored, which, which it didn't make sense to me. And even then, they didn't really go for it. They, but that, that's when they started. I, I don't know if it if it had something to do with City started to go for it more and found themselves more open at the back. Um, but I'd feel a bit annoyed if I, if I was a Wolves fan. If, like it's, I get that the plan almost worked, but. If it doesn't work, you you, you 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 sort of feel as though I I you sort of feel as though you would rather see your team properly go for it and try and get the win and end up taking a three or four nil beating than setting up to lose and losing one or two nil. Like that that that's what really annoys me. And what ended up happening was they didn't go for it, and they ended up losing by three or four goals. So, it, it, it's just no point, really. But I guess they did make more of a game out of it than uh, than uh, Man, Man City would have wanted, I guess. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.